Hi, it's Malcolm, and I'm back with another video to show you how to use Wear Text to send WhatsApp messages by voice from your Wear OS watch without needing to touch your watch screen or your phone. Let's get started. First, let's set up the watch. Now, this app is also known as Auto Text on the watch because that's a bit easier for voice recognition. But we need to give accessibility permission to enable hands-free operation. So let's do that now. So, <clears throat> accessibility, wear text, enable, and tick there. Okay, so we now have accessibility set up on the watch. And let's, uh, let's now turn to the phone app. So, um, where text, allow where text to make and manage phone calls, allow where text to send SMS messages. We need both of those. Okay. Um, now, first of all, uh, where text needs to send messages using the WhatsApp app on your phone. And it needs a couple of extra settings to do this. Um, firstly, it needs your watch to be a trusted device in Smart Lock. Uh, let me show you that. So we'll go to the WhatsApp menu. There's some explanation here as to how it all works. But uh, if I just go down and go to settings, that takes me to Android settings, search for uh, smart lock up here, uh, smart lock. And you can see smart lock here. Uh, I'm not going to go through it um, and put my pin in, but uh, you need to set up your watch as a trusted device on smart lock so that uh, the wear text can keep the, uh, the phone unlocked when it needs to send a message. So let's go back. OK, uh, now we also need to give the phone app accessibility and you can see a button down here to do that. Um, this is the accessibility menu, uh, as you can see. And where text is in the list here. Let's just click on that and turn it on. Allow. OK, and we can go back to uh, the where text menu. And we've, uh, we've now given all the settings that we need. We'll just press done to uh, to go back. Now, let's set up a name and phone number. So you'll see when we first start using the app, there's this kind of example text here. Um, let's go in and just delete that. Delete. Now, um, for this purpose, I'm going to use my test phone and I'm going to call it Xperia. Um, so I have that in the in the clipboard here. Let me just paste. And you can see that uh, there's the name and the, uh, the phone number. That's my test phone and uh, colon W, which means use WhatsApp to send messages to this uh, to this contact. So we can just uh, save and uh, we are now done with the uh, with the setup everything I've shown you so far only has to be done once at the setup stage uh, and we should now be uh, ready to go so let's give this uh, let's give this a try I will uh, long press the crown on my watch Open auto text. Xperia, I'll be home in 30 minutes.
and you can see that um, uh, that where text uh, unlocked the phone uh, went into the WhatsApp app uh, and actually sent the message to uh, this contact that I've called Xperia uh, but this could be a family member or um, uh, or a close friend or anybody that you might want to just send a quick message to uh, from your watch using just your voice so um, where text isn't on the Google Play Store because it uses sensitive features like phone calling. Uh, you can also send, uh, you can also initiate phone calls from where text uh, and it uses SMS and it uses accessibility. Uh, so not on the Play Store, but you can get where text from my website at uh, freepoc.org. That's F-R-E-E-P-O-C.org uh, or see the link below in this video. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you soon.